What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. Hello, good hearts and godsends. My name is Godson B.A. Pinky and welcome to our channel Canva Play. Here in Canva Play, we make videos to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. With that said, I'm going to head on to our today's tutorial. Our today's tutorial is about creating the square grid effect in Canva. Are you familiar with the square grid effect? or color grid photo display in photoshop if you are then you must be thrilled to know if this kind of effect or design can also be done in canva i'm also thrilled to say that yes it can be created in canva in canva way in graphic design a grid is a structure made up of a series of intersecting straight or curved lines used to structure content in canva finding different kinds of grids is not a problem frame grids grids in illustrations or even grids in different numbers of squares or rectangles is available in its stacks to make this introduction short let's now go to canva and make the square grid effect and this is the design that i will create I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. Since grid is my featured element in this design, the first step is get it from the elements. Go to elements and type in the search bar grid. I will get the single square grid first in the list and when you click it, it will automatically covers the whole page. I am using a 1080 by 1350 pixel dimension size format page, meaning this is not a perfect square size. Therefore, I should resize this grid to a perfect square, which is 1080 by 1080 pixel size. What I will do is I will resize it as perfect square size. This element is flexible. You can stretch it out vertically or horizontally. It's a very useful frame to use in a design. And I will resize it like this. And then I will check it. It is in a middle center position. And it already is. I will now get my beautiful subject photo. I will get it from photos by searching the keyword elegant beautiful women with natural freckles on face and here she is the first photo of her i will drag it inside the design page i will duplicate this photo and set it aside on the other page for later use Going back to the design, I'm going to insert the photo inside the grid frame and I will lock it now. I want to create a multiple grids out of this image. I will go again to elements and search again for grid. This time, I will use a different kind of grid, not a frame but a grid made of lines creating a look of multiple grids divisions go to graphics and you'll see different kind of grids in different sizes looks and angles in this design i'm going to use this fifth one with the keyword five by five grid i will click it and use it in the design i'm going to overlay 
it over the whole page or the whole photo of the women. I will resize it perfectly over the photo. It's so easy because the grid is a perfect square too. And then I will lock it too. Now it's let's create a square grid effect. Square grid effect is a photo divided by multiple grids wherein the different grids has different effects that makes your photo very artistic and very beautiful to look at. Going back to the grid choices at your left menu, I will change myself from graphic to all to get again the single square grid frame i used a while ago this one i will drag it in here and resize it to fit the small square grid overlay i made i will fill this small grid here with grid frame like this I will be needing now the photo I set aside a while ago in the next page. I will insert it inside the small grid frame I created. But before getting it inside the frame, I will apply first an effect on this photo. Using this photo, go to edit image. Find color mix. See all. Look for Sangria and change the default settings to U, negative 0.3 and saturation to negative 0.1, then click apply. Now I will drag it over the small frame in the design and insert it inside. Now that I have made the size of the grid frame with the photo inserted in it, I will duplicate it and fill in the other grids. You can position it anywhere and in any grids available. It depends on your preference. You can make a pattern in filling in your grids. You can fill it alternately in slant position, in straight pattern, and it all depends on you. I will now keep on duplicating the frame grids and fill in the grids I want like this. After filling in my grid choices, I will align the images inside with the image background behind, like this. For the beginners, you can do it by clicking the image inside, and when it lighted, drag it from any corners and resize it and align it perfectly with the photo behind. After aligning them all with the background photo, you may notice that there are lots of green spaces that needs to improve too. I will add more look to these spaces by filling it in with other elements like shape. I will use a square shape this time. Go to elements and type shape. I will use this square one or simply type the shortcut R 
letter R if you want to use a rec recolorable shape like this one. Since this element is also flexible and recolorable like the grids I use, I will resize it or stretch it out to fill in the other grids. Like this. I occupy the two grids and then I will color it using colors the same as or near to the colors of the image I use. I will color it by clicking the color tile, scroll down below to see the photo color choices and change the color to this light purple one. After coloring it, I will copy this shape and fill in the other grids in any spaces you want to position like this i am now done filling in the grids now i will select them all and position them at the back the grid overlay. I position them backward to make the lines visible and make your design clean to look at. I am almost done with the design. For the final touch, I will use another element to beautify the design I am creating. Go to elements and search for a gradient that fades to transparency. And here they are. There are lots to choose from the list. But I will choose this light blue one showing you the keyword gradient that fades to transparency. In finding keywords, it is very hard and time-consuming and you will need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword if you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva we have created an ebook called Canva Deep Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known and deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day-to-day -day designs going back, I will change the color tile to white Then I will resize it and position it on the upper portion to make the empty white space blend with the grid. After this, I will duplicate it and flip it vertically to fill in the bottom part too. done this is not the final look of the square grid effect i made using canva that's it for more design inspirations watch this If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time. Before I end this video, I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Pinky Godson BA saying sharing is caring. In behalf of Simon Goodheart BA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video from Simon with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys, see you in the next video!